Embarking on the small screen in the late 1950s, a trailblazing TV series captured the imagination of viewers across America with its tales of frontier adventures. Amidst its ensemble cast, a classic Hollywood actor stood out for many, becoming a favorite for numerous fans. While the show carved its place in television history, lesser-known anecdotes and intriguing facts punctuated its behind-the-scenes journey. These tidbits, often tucked away from the spotlight, add an extra layer of fascination to the show's narrative. Now, recalling cherished memories or personal experiences related to this iconic series might evoke a sense of nostalgia or spark untold tales. What's your fondest memory or personal connection to this series? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, whether it's reminiscing about a favorite actor or uncovering a lesser known fact, the allure of this timeless TV series continues to resonate, inviting us to share our own experiences. Share your thoughts and stories with you it's a journey worth taking together. Wagon Train, a pivotal TV series that debuted in the late 1950s, embodied the essence of the classic Western genre. Revolving around a diverse group of pioneers journeying across the vast American frontier in a wagon train, the show captured the spirit of adventure, camaraderie, and the challenges of forging through untamed landscapes. With Ward Bond's steadfast Major Seth Adams leading the wagon master role in the initial seasons, the series introduced audiences to a range of compelling characters, each with their unique stories and backgrounds. The show's format of episodic storytelling, featuring self-contained narratives within the larger framework of the wagon train's progress, allowed for a captivating exploration of diverse themes unity, survival, and the clash of cultures. Notably, when Bond passed away, actor John McIntyre seamlessly stepped into the role, ensuring the continuity and enduring appeal of the show. The impact of wagon train extended beyond its entertainment value influencing subsequent Western-themed series and films. Its portrayal of the American West and the frontier spirit resonated deeply with audiences, contributing to the enduring legacy of the Western genre in popular culture. The series' focus on the human experience amid the backdrop of a rapidly changing landscape spoke to universal themes, making it a timeless classic in television history. The series underwent significant changes across its seasons, notably transitioning from black and white hour-long episodes to a color format with 90-minute episodes in its seventh season. This alteration not only marked a shift in visual presentation, but also impacted how the show was syndicated, often splitting airings between weekdays and weekends. The sponsorship by the Edsel division of the Ford Motor Company during its inaugural season also contributed to its early identity. Interestingly, the initial season featured a lone harmonica player accompanying the series' theme song during campfire scenes, a practice abandoned in subsequent seasons as the theme itself evolved. The format changes and sponsorship connections added unique layers to the show's history, while the alteration and theme music showcased the evolving creative decisions behind the scenes. Such shifts, alongside the transition to color episodes, not only altered the visual experience, but also influenced how the series was distributed in syndication. Both Ward Bond and his replacement, John McIntyre, shared connections beyond their roles in the series. Bond and McIntyre were both part of movies directed by the renowned John Ford. This association with the esteemed director added depth to their careers beyond their impactful roles in the series. Bond, known for his portrayal of Major Seth Adams, featured in several of Ford's films, showcasing his versatility as an actor. After Bond's passing during the fourth season, McIntyre seamlessly stepped into the role, bringing his own essence while maintaining the show's continuity. This connection between the actors and John Ford's cinematic influence sheds light on the broader scope of talent associated with the series, intertwining the world of Wagon Train with the legendary works of John Ford. During the early run of the series, Charlie Wooster's character held a significant medical knowledge thread, often highlighted by Major Adams. Despite this, in later seasons, Wooster's medical expertise was entirely abandoned, showing minimal to no inclination towards such skills. The character, Charlie Wooster, had a peculiar naming convention. He was referred to as both Charlie and Chuck interchangeably, sometimes within the same episode, adding a unique dynamic to his identity throughout the show's progression. 
In a lesser known aspect, Ward Bond, who portrayed Major Seth Adams, faced health challenges from the series outset, struggling with high blood pressure and under strict orders to reduce workload due to his illness. Bond continued to work while battling these health issues, compounding concerns. These nuanced details in character development and the undisclosed health struggles of a lead actor add layers of complexity to the narrative of the iconic series, shedding light on the evolving dynamics behind the scenes. The theme song for the TV series was directly lifted from Jerome Moros' score for the film The Jayhawkers. Moros, the composer, worked on the show for five episodes between 1959 and 1960. This theme remains one of the most recognizable in American TV westerns. It's a defining aspect that captures the essence of the show's spirit and sets it apart. The tune, deeply embedded in the western genre, became synonymous with the series, leaving an indelible mark on its identity. Its origin from a film score and its seamless integration into the show's fabric add depth to the iconic series, showcasing the interconnectedness of music and storytelling in television. During the production of the iconic TV series, tensions flared between cast members, notably Ward Bond and Robert Horton. According to Horton, Bond spread rumors about his personal life, straining their on-set relationship. The discord persisted until just two days before Bond's passing, when the two actors finally reconciled. Amidst the behind-the-scenes drama, it's worth noting that certain episodes of the series have fallen into the public domain. The Malachi Hobart story, the Dr. Denker story, and alias Bill Hawks are among the episodes accessible to the public without copyright restrictions. In another incident, actor Martin Landau, while appearing on the show, encountered a surprising revelation about Ward Bond. When Bond learned that Landau, a fellow actor, was Jewish and from New York, the encounter took a physical turn. During a fight scene, instead of delivering a fake punch, Bond deliberately struck Landau, showcasing a clash of personalities. These behind-the-scenes anecdotes shed light on the human dynamics within the production of the series, revealing the challenges and conflicts that unfolded off-camera. Such insights contribute to a fuller understanding of the series' history and the interactions among its cast members, underscoring the complexities that accompanied the making of this enduring classic. As we hitch our digital wagons and bid farewell to the trailblazing tales of yesteryear, I invite you to linger in the nostalgia of a journey well-traveled with the 1957 television series that etched its mark on the hearts of many. The echoes of camaraderie, the winds of the vast landscapes, and the characters who ventured into the unknown, it's a symphony of memories that resonate with each viewer in a unique cadence. In the tapestry of your own recollections, what threads of connection do you find? Perhaps it's the indomitable spirit of the pioneers or the flickering glow of the campfire tales that linger in the corners of your mind. Share your reflections, your cherished moments from the series, and let the embers of those stories continue to warm the collective heart. As we celebrate the timeless allure of this classic, your thoughts become the stars that light up the night sky of our shared appreciation. Through the lens of your memories, the legacy of this remarkable journey continues to unfold in new and unexpected ways. Thank you for joining us on this expedition through the annals of television history, weaving your experiences into the fabric of our ongoing narrative. Your presence has added a vibrant hue to the canvas of shared remembrances. Until we meet again on another trail, under different skies, and with fresh tales to tell, keep the spirit of adventure alive in your own unique way. Crafted with the spirit of the pioneers and the curiosity of the wanderer, this reflection is.